So, ladies and gentlemen, Motion is here on stage and guiding us through their cases on generative AI. Thank you. Hello, everybody. I'm Mohsen Arjmandi from Evolution ID. Evolution ID is a hardware and software company, software provider, integrating family of Legic products into enterprise companies. And uh, I'm the lead of the software team. And uh, first, before going into talking about the innovative part, I want to briefly talk about uh, what we're doing in the software part, what is happening in the software department. Uh, basically, what we're doing is integrating comprehensive card management solutions, pack systems, um, different external APIs when a company wants very extensive background check from government before issuing an ID to very small tasks of integrating, for example, some printer for somebody to give access and also user onboarding. So as you can see, there are various systems in place. When we're dealing with such a project, there are also other aspects of these systems, like single sign-on, uh, mechanical key management, and the scope of these projects are very large. Uh, the hardest problem with these systems and with these projects is the change, the constant change. The variety of the system is very large, and the only design principle that we w were able to come up that could answer to this requirement was flexibility. Uh, our flagship product, ID Function Web, has four design principles, uh, which is basically all of them is dynamism, dynamic processes, dynamic schemas. So that's, that was the only way that we could come up with a solution that could address constant change rapidly and providing services for our clients. So ID Function Web, as an integration layer, sits on top of all of those services. We have been implementing ID Function Web for large enterprises, big companies, and we're also doing it at the moment for uh, even more clients. Throughout this journey, throughout this implementation, little by little, you see some patterns emerging from different projects, from different organizations, from different departments inside an organization, tasks and problems that you can resolve uh, by same solution, but it's really hard to take it from one domain to another domain. Having uh, this set of patterns, looking at them, we were always also in our R&D part, looking for other solutions, how we can make it faster and better, how we can provide better solutions, uh, ship uh, more features for our clients. And also, uh, having implemented previous AI solutions for image acquisition, cumbersome tasks on image manipulation when HR just wants a proper photo for the ID, and there's a big scheduling and uh, many small stuff going on to just have proper images. We have started again looking at AI. We designed a platform called Forms, and Forms again sits exactly the same place as ID Function Web. Uh, the main aim of the Forms are two things. First of all, having a software that can evolve, so it can generate code reliably in a way that you can integrate complex systems, like the ones that I mentioned, pack systems, external APIs very easily. And the second one, actually executing some commands, like giving access to somebody in some department. Or you have a new department. You want to initialize that, adding people to that so they can have access. The second set of challenges, the one that you just execute a command, uh, with the current technologies available in AI ecosystem is rather easy. You don't get into a lot of trouble to make that happen. But the second part, generating reliable code in enterprise setting, large pieces of integration code, 
it's not that easy. And as was mentioned before, the hardest challenge there is hallucination. What we did was investing more and more uh, for the past year on addressing hallucination for code generation in AI setting, integrating PAX systems. And uh, we designed a system called GRID, a GRID abbreviation for Grammar Rail Decoding. Basically, what it does is uses grammar of programming language for guard railing what LLM is generating. And essentially, it leads to error-free code. This method has been implemented, tested, benchmarked, and patent pending also. But before going to explaining more about it and what was achieved afterwards, uh, one important thing was that from the beginning when we, were talk, uh, when we were working on this method, the common expert advice on such method, using grammars for guard railing large language models, was that eventually large language models will reach to a point that either remove hallucination or address it to a point that is tolerable. But uh, our common sense was that because of the sole nature of large language model, because of the nature of being probabilistic, for us it seemed like a long shot that we can see it in near future. So we kept investing on it, we did our development, and it was actually rewarding because just recently, nearly like a month ago, OpenAI also released a very important feature called Structured Output on top of their latest large language model, GPT-40, which is exactly using grammar-based guard railing for code generation on top of AI models. So we got something like a green light that we chose the right method in this area, in this industry, toward using grammar to guard rail large language model for code generation. But the next part it was the benchmarking. And as I said, GRID is not a large language model. GRID is a method that guard rails the output of large language models while coding in order to have compilable, very correct, er error-free piece of code for integration. And the only way that you can benchmark such a method was to find some similar platform. You cannot compare it with other large language models or platforms who are focused on software engineering or code generation. The benchmarks are not compatible. The closest solution uh, is Microsoft Guidance that has been in the market for over two years. And the problem with Microsoft Guidance is that uh, when you use it in enterprise setting, when you have tens of thousands of line of code even, let alone words and tokens, uh, the time to produce the output, the, the, the required code, is too long that the user leaves the job, leaves the tax, and then they just go and write the code themselves. Uh, so one of the key points of GRID was focusing on performance. And what we did was compensating process-intensive workload for memory while looking at how the memory grows during the code generation. And that actually led to the performance of GRID. Uh, as you can see in the benchmark, the blue line is the time that it takes from, for Microsoft Guidance to generate a specific amount of code. And as you can see, the, the longer is the output of the window, the longer it takes for the Microsoft Guidance to uh, provide the error-free code. While in GRID, uh, it stays the same, and it's a scalable solution no matter how long is the window because of the specific design that I mentioned. Another point for GRID was that, again, as I mentioned, in software benchmark, which is a main benchmark for lar large language model code generation, and it's used in many different settings in hard integration tasks like integration pack system and PM systems, the main thing is having to having be able to resolve all kind of problems in different stacks, different programming languages. But GRID has this advantage 
that is focused, first of all, on a very specific stack that we use, and also it's very narrowed down industry for PAC system and PM system. Having all of this point, uh, our investment on using generative AI for system integrations led to a continued investment on grid and implementing forms and uh, achieving a solution that, first of all, uh, uses a method that is, that is being used by the latest and top AI companies. Second of all, it's scalable and it's affordable and it's usable. And the third is the privacy part, the one that you don't have to use it with a specific AI model. You can use it on multiple large language models, basically all of them. Thank you so much. That was great, and if you had more questions, you can also come to our booth. <laughs> thank you, Mosin. I was about to say thank you very much. Thanks for being on stage at Connect24. I was just about to say go to the booth in the next break, not now, in the next break, and, um, and talk to Mosin directly. I actually, I actually I, what I just wonder, I mean, I learned uh, evolution ideas in this specific um, uh, grid area, like doing better than the Microsoft. This is one of my key, key takeaways. Wow. Um, and I was wondering, like, if you want to have those machines coding your software, is that because Ali wants to reduce personnel costs? Or is it just yeah. because you want to be more reliable? Come on. <laughs> uh, it can be. Like. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, thank you we very much. We can discuss it. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks so much. A lot. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for being here. OK, Mosin Arshmandi, uh, Head of Software Development at Evolution ID.